This intriguing looking box you're looking at is actually a vending machine or you can say a miniature arcade game which you can play and if you're lucky enough you can get a candy out of it. So in this video I will give you a complete demonstration of this game and also explain you the working of the circuit. But first of all let's see what is this thing. So after connecting 5 volt adopter as you can see that a wheel consisting of 4 LEDs starts spinning and also the status LED turns on. Now to play the game and win a candy you have to press this red button. Now the moment you press this button the wheel stops spinning and now you have only 8 seconds to place this circular thing which is actually a magnet in front of the LED. So let's play with this thing so you can understand a bit better. First I have to press the button to stop the moving LEDs and then place the magnet in front of the LED. Hmm, where should I place it? You see there is no clue whatsoever where to have to place it. You just have to place and that's your luck. Oops, time's up because I'm explaining you. Let's play again. Hmm, I think that's the right choice. Oh yes, I got one. Really? It feels so satisfying when something you built actually give you something. Now after celebrating the happiness, let's inspect the inside of this game. On top we have a servo motor connected to the wheel. The servo motor is modified so that it will spin continuously like an ordinary motor. On top of the wheel we have 4 LEDs mounted in a plush shape. And also there is a read switch to sense the magnet. If you are wondering what is a read switch, a read switch is basically a magnetically operated switch. When a magnet comes close to it, the two contacts inside of it joins together which completes the circuit and the power can be supplied to the bulb. Now these springy things glides over 3 rings of copper wire to supply the positive and negative voltage to the LEDs and also to get the signal from the read switch. Now let's talk about the circuit itself. Initially the capacitor is discharged so the motor keeps on spinning. But when you push the red button on the front panel the capacitor gets charged and the motor stops. You can vary this off time of the motor by moving this potentiometer. The maximum time we get is around 6.7 seconds and the minimum is around 2.1 seconds. Now initially the any 5 timer IC with a bit of complementary components is generating a pulse on time of 1 milliseconds to keep the servo in a 0 degree position. But when you place the magnet in front of the correct LED, the read switch will give signal to the 555 timer IC so it will increase the on time from 1 milliseconds to 2 milliseconds which will rotate the servo from 0 degree position to all the way to 180 degree position. Now let's talk about candies. The candies are stacked in this section. So when the servo rotates, the rod pushes the candies so they fall out from the other side one by one. Now the potentiometer you're looking at is used to set the initial position of the servo just like so. Now that's pretty much it from my demonstration, I hope you like this project. If you want to see the whole building procedure of this contraption then you just have to like this video and let me know in the comments what you think about this project. Once again don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.